You're such an asshole! So I shall explain to you the Black Hills. Let me explain to you. You say, hey, Cappy, can you explain to me the Black... I'll explain to you the Black Hills. So, um... There's stages of tourist season. And not just in the Black Hills, but this is all over the United States. And summer you pretty much try to avoid. Uh, because that's when the normies bring their kids out. The kids get out of prison. They call it school, but it really is prison. And uh, while they're on that work release program for three months, and the teachers are complaining because their job is so hard because they, they, they got three months off, uh, the parents will actually spend time with their children, believe it or not. This is where the parents spend time with the children, and they drag them across the United States. And having been a vagabond, essentially, the past decade, you know, working on the Internet and doing my thing, um, I, you know, me being frugal, not cheap, modern life, John frugal. Uh, it was kind of like, no, I better be couch surfing because can you believe that these people want to stay in hotels too? Can you believe that? And everything goes up in price, the hotels, the gas, uh, campgrounds, if you have a tent and there's lines to get into the national park that, and, and just, it's just, it's a bother. And so I try to go like, National forests, not national parks, because no one knows about the national forests. They just they just think there's national parks and that's all there is. So <clears throat> there's a way to avoid it. But that's your main normie conformy uh, tourist season. Then there's old person tourist season. And when old person tourist season, I noticed this when I was in Moab. It was September, maybe even early October, maybe about this time of year, several years ago. Beautiful temperature. No light. But I noticed. I was easily the youngest person at pretty much everywhere I was going, national parks, hiking, restaurants, where it was all boomers, all old people, all gray hairs, all blue hairs. It was like an ARP convention out West. They just, they just, they, the ARP said, we're going to have our convention. Where's it going to be? They said West. That's it. Just go. And all 326 million boomers went out West and there what? And there was RVs cause they drive them really slow. And now we're driving, you know, this is, I'll give you another little inside biz out West. Uh, most boomers, although old people, it's going to, it's not specific to them. It's just that they're old. Most of them planned poorly in terms of their financial planning. So they're where my and pa finally paid off their children's doctorates in philosophy or whatever worthless degree they paid the children's degree for. And at 72, we're going on the great American road trip. And and we're gonna we're gonna get an RV like we always wanted to do. And then <clears throat> it's F you to everybody. They, they get an RV, which can, I don't know if you knew this out West, there's mountains out West and you got to go uphill and RVs are not that good uphill, but that's not good enough for a lot of these boomers. Oh no. They got to drag and attach and tow a, a go vehicle <laughs> to their RV. And not all of them have RVs, but it's almost like an RV convention and they just clog up the highways. The Eisenhower Pass. Oh, is that, oh, Herbert and Ethel, you guys thought you were going to go, oh, really? That's a brilliant idea going up there on the Eisenhower Pass. Yeah, you thought that went through, clog it up the lane. Uh, but when I was out west, that one, Moab included, I'm like, there's nothing but old-timer hikers. They got their hiking poles. And I was like, boy, I'm on the, and then I kind of just sat and thought, I'm like, they're retired. And the kids ain't around no more. So this is a second tourist season. It's it's the old person tour, tourist season. Uh, so they're going to go out. They're going to, I've waited for this my entire life. Because you're a poor financial planner? No, because it's bad luck. Could have convinced me otherwise. <clears throat> so now we're in the thick of that. Now it's slowly tapering down. But I like to eat. I don't know about you, but I like to eat. And uh, I go out to the restaurants and I go out through the Black Hills. And the Black Hills is a tourist destination for, for the ARP convention. And I was sitting there in a restaurant looking. It's all old people, just all old people. And I noticed, and I've noticed this before, but all the old gals, all the boomer ladies had short haircuts. One or two did not have short hair. They had longer hair. But all the rest of the gals had short haircuts. <clears throat> and I've noticed this a long time before where it's like, once you hit menopause, you got to cut your hair. 
and I've heard older ladies within my my family and all that, oh, it's just it's just easier and no maintenance, da 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 da. And I leaned to my girlfriend at the time. I said, You ever cut your hair short? We're not a thing anymore. You will be feminine. You will have long hair. I just don't care. Oh, you're so mean. Uh, look at the link down below. It's not nice guy consulting. So I, whatever, I don't care about old people. You know, okay, you're going to clog roads. You're going to do the great American road trip with my cruiseamerica.com rental. Look it up. Uh, but then I, I forgot where it was, but an old guy, I don't know why they cut their hair. My wife cut her hair. Do, 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 do. And then as I've gotten older, you know, like when you're a little kid, your parents are infallible. They're like the Pope. They're always right. And if not, because I told you so, if not, you get a spanking or you sent to your room. I right? see so you, you never figure out why, but you're always under the impression that your dad knew everything. Why? Well, he's bigger and stronger than you is basically because I'm bigger and stronger than you, kid. That's why. But as I've gotten older now, I realize that, dude, these boomer guys, like they were at the forefront of the uh, womanist uh, thing. And I'm sure just like my family, your family probably suffered from divorce too. How many, by a show of hands, actually let's do, by the show of ones, how many of your folks got divorced, y'all? Go ahead, put it in the comment. Yeah. One for divorce, zero for like your parents are still married. Like, But I didn't realize um, <clears throat> just what original doormats these boomer men were. And just let it run right. Like they didn't tell, what is my wife cut her hair short? I'm like, did you tell her not to? <gasps> or not like tell, but did you voice your, hey, why don't you keep your hair long? I really like it that way. <clears throat> and so there's, there's this doormat effect. But the reason why, because boomer men are just as cool as hell. I've known boomer men to get divorced three times. Like, Do you learn your lesson? What what about the first two times did you not get? <laughs> and thank God we got the internet and the red pill because this is never going to happen to uh, never again will this happen to a generation. Never, never. It's not possible. Vaccination is getting out there. Word's getting out. <clears throat> but here's let me explain to you old timers. Okay. There's the website, the dating site for geriatrics called Our Time. And it's not the cool BBC podcast with Melvin Bragg. This is, it's a website called Our Time. And uh, if you're th still thinking you're going to get some gray tail and in a, the reason your wife cut her hair short, because she doesn't love you anymore. Period. That's it. She might love you a little bit, but she loves the convenience at, at 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 best, she loves the ease of the haircut more than she loves you. Because let's talk about empirical actions. If she loved you, said, hey, what? don't cut your hair short. Keep it long. I like you that way. If that woman loved you, she would do that. Conversely, to be intellectually honest, if your wife comes up, and ladies, you have every right to do this, your husband gets a little gut, or maybe in America's case, a big ass gut, say, hey. I don't find you physically attractive anymore. Lose the weight. You know what? You got a choice there, gentlemen. You can either love your wife or love food more. And we all know which route most men choose now, don't we? It is actions that tells you what they, people love the most or prefer the most. So sure, your wife loves you, but she does not love you more than she uh, issues the chore of maintaining long hair. Like, think that's it. The, <clears throat> the chore causes this much pain. Her love for you is that much. It's less than the pain of merely maintaining her hair. That's the best case. Usually, though, seeing what I've seen with boomers, I don't know, you guys are on your 10th marriage by now, whatever it is. They just don't love you anymore. It's down. Oh, over there. There. there Ray, hang on. Where, there, there. See that? There. That. That. That right there. That's the type of consultant we do. Truthful consulting. You should go to marriage counseling. How'd that work out for you? <clears throat> and that's it. That's the truth. That's it. She she has another love. It's called ease of not dealing with her hair. It's not a, it's not George Clooney is making off with your wife. You just 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 convenience. That's all. 
Yeah, and I'd like to say, well, and here's how you saw. No, no. The, it's bottom of the ninth, two outs, two strikes. You don't even got no ball count, and the bases ain't loaded. And it's it, the score is eight to zero. You're behind eight points. You're not going to win. This is too late. I'm just explaining to you so no longer confused in, in the last dwindling days of your life. Anyway, so there's a book down below. <clears throat> Here's the problem, because this is targeted towards older men. That book is now academic to you. It will explain things. And, and I think sanity, if, oh, actually, you know what? Here it is. There's another essay you can read called Sanity is the Future of Wealth. Uh, sanity actually is a gift. And a lot of times it's, less, it's the only thing people have. So to figure out why this happens so you're no longer confused in the few remaining moments of your life, why don't you get this book called The Book of Numbers, Analyzing the ROI and the Pursuit of Women. <clears throat> There's many other books you can read, Roald Tomasi's books as well. And probably a good more deep dive into it. But yeah, dude, that's why. Why'd she cut her hair? Because, well, probably maybe you got a gut. Do you have a gut? And that may have led to her just not being that romantic or sexually attracted to you. Without sexual attraction, there is no love. No love. Terribly sorry. So too bad. So sad. <clears throat> but there we go. All right. Do we have any super chats today? Let's look at the ones and the zeros. Uh Lucille. But oh, whoa, look at all the ones. Two. Three. Boy. <clears throat> it looks like two to one divorced and married. <laughs> uh, all right. Any super chats? For you old timers, super chats is where people give me money. It's it's a form. Yeah, I know. A uh, DJ Aftershock, uh, two bucks, most likely has to steal degree in independent women X. Yes, that steal is sociology, theater, ethnic studies, arts, and liberal arts. That's steal. Whoa, whoa, here, here come the donations. Here come the donations. Oh, I've like 50, uh, 50 Mexican pesos. Oh. Thomas, five bucks, uh, five bucks. You remind me of the grumpy uncle who told the truth. I'm not, look, I got, I'm kind of getting on my happier. Like I'm like the old guy who doesn't care anymore. I'm just 20 years ahead of it. Cause I ever went through my grumpy old man stage in my thirties and early forties. Now it's kind of getting like, <laughs> it's happening the way I predicted it. Yeah. Everyone's getting their comeuppance now. Yeah. All right. Um, 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 um. No, no, yeah, you get married a seventh time. Yeah, because the first six times were a fluke, right? No, no, you just chose the wrong gal. Yeah, no, no, no. go to our time. Yeah, you'll you'll find a real nice boomer lady. Yeah, yeah. But I'm on a fixed income. Boy, it's time to get serious about retirement planning. Only after me and Herman drive our brand new RV around that cost us 250000 we had to take out a second mortgage. What do you mean there's no money left? President Biden should do something. I'm on a fixed income. <clears throat> Cap, you're not going to get a lot of fans. Old timers aren't going to really live. Chase, five bucks. He has nothing to say. Thank you, Chase. Johnny, New York, 50 Mexican pesos, which what? It's one twelfth. I mean, it's a fair amount you donated. I was just, I just got excited. I'm 35 single, no debt. Hey. I'm retired in Mexico, have a net worth of $2.2 million. Where have all the good men gone? Where are they? I can't see them. I see many hot chicas here, and it makes me feel lonely. Now what? What do you mean you see many? What? That doesn't make any sense. Learn to salsa dance. Go talk to the girls. I presume you're fluent in Spanish. You could get by, right? You won. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the new Nirvana, where it's like, well, if you played your cards right, You'd be able to retire early, and then you just wait for the rest of the people to show up. You're Daniel Boone, man. There's there, there's more on the way. You don't worry. The Western settlers are coming, but you're Daniel Boone and uh, Davy Crockett, right? You're the frontiersman. <clears throat> You've never been in this area before. Cop and a man, two bucks. Italy raised electricity prices by 30%. How does Italy raise electric prices? How do they do that? Shouldn't it be determined by the supply and demand for electricity? Oh, Italy doesn't have a free market. Ah, 
I see. Let me know how that works out. I should, I really ought to go buy some solar panels or something. I just, I, I've already bought food. You're one of those prepper guys. Yes, yes. Uh, well, not super prepper, but yes, boomer who's been divorced five times with no net worth and has to work till they're dead. I am prepping. What do you recommend, Mr. Horrifically Bad Advice and Bad Life? <clears throat> Competent man, two bucks. Facebook disappeared. DNS entry deleted. I used to know what DNS means. If Facebook went away, I'd be okay with that. I don't really, I don't. I went through a phase for like about five, six years where I was adventuring, maybe eight. I was taking pictures of everything. I was like, look at him. Oh, yeah. And then after you like go over Beartooth Pass the fourth time, it's like, eh, I don't need to take pictures anymore. I could kind of enjoy just driving around. Competent man, two bucks. Natural gas, dude bros, traders getting margin calls. <laughs> no, no less trained at the Carlson School of Management. <clears throat> Wait, is Instagram's down too? Wait, wait, what happened? All right. Well, I guess YouTube ain't down because you guys are all here. More on the way. See you guys in a little bit later. Toodles.